The William Fry Handicap Hurdle is next. It's a three mile naught to one forty. Casa Grande smiles Vinnie Gerald at the top. Barley notes James Shea. Tectal rain Darren Thompson. Witness mischief James Shea. Rebel run Padre Hogan. Cottage wine Craig Beckwith. Rapunzel Martin. Liam Hot Springs unknown Vinnie Gerald. Light together David Robertson. Outer limit Craig Beckwith. Large reality and a military salute. For Jim Murray, Labrator, Darren Thompson, Jimmy Hatz, Alex Cherry, Tunisia, Matt Cooper, the Rossmeister, Padre Hogan, Control Freak, Graham Clutterbuck, Vanishing, Paul Parsons, and Bobbly Breeze. For Alex Cherry, a field of 19 runners. Biggest field of the day so far by a long way there away and racing. And heading to the first flight. And it was just Rapunzel who landed over it in the lead. From Rimmel runner Labrita. Barley notes closest to us. A very short run of the second of the 14, which they're all over safely. Now Labrita has got the lead, although nothing seems to be all that keen to take it up. It's a very much a case of the soft shoe shuffle after you, Claude, or whatever you want to call it at the moment. It's Labrita, who is the leader from Barley Notes, widest on the track, then Rapunzel vanishing out to limit and also light together. Brita will lead them into the third flight. Leading by a couple to on the inside light together, then Rapunzel and the grey vanishes after that. Barley notices now drop back into the pack with outer limit. The two Jim Murray horses are wide on the track, large reality and military salute. Looking towards the back of the Rossmeister and Tectal Rain. Are oh, the back two as we pass the cheap seats again and take flight number four. Safely over that one. And as Light Together has now stepped into the lead. So Light Together for David Robertson again, though, being eased back and Labrita reluctantly, maybe, going back into the lead on the near side. You can see large reality. Jim Murray's horse is getting perilously close to the lead. I don't think he wants to be in the lead either. It's somewhat pedestrian this at the moment. And Labrita. Is three to four clear. Somebody's going to take the race by the scruff of the neck sooner, what I thought. And they're already crawled through the first mile. And almost. And Labrita is now four clear. Still not putting that much pace to the race. As they get over the sixth. Like to get a second. Rapunzel third. Then out of limit. And. After that, vanishing them. Barley notes and witness mischief together. With Casa Grande smiles, then large reality. Looking towards the back of the Rossmeister, a military salute. Has now dropped right towards the back, along with Hot Springs Unknown and Bubbly Breeze as well. But Labrita is going to lead them into the seventh. They're starting to get quite strong out now, so maybe the pace is starting to quicken. I can't really tell. But it's Labrita in the lead, light together second. How to limits now come through into third. Rapunzel is fourth, vanishing is fifth, and then Barley out sixth. Small gap then, detect all round as they come past the big screen. And past the winning post now in the, the hedges, as you can see there. And then past the totalised data board, and they'll swing out shortly with a left hand turn. Head onto the back part of the track. And just under a mile and a half still to go, with Labrita in the lead by two lengths. To outer limit second, Rapunzel third, vanishing fourth, and light together. And Barley notes, Tectal Rain. He's next, then Control Freak and Large Reality Wider on the track as they get over that one. It's probably Breeze has gone at the back. That was pulled up or it fell, I don't know. I couldn't see, but there. Over the next one. And Labrita continues to lead from Rapunzel and Light together. Then Vanishing, Tectal Rain Stable Companion of the leader. He's starting to get a little bit closer. He's struggling at the back now. His Hot Springs Unknown. Only about 20 minutes off the lead. Lead held still by Labrator from Light Together, second Rapunzel, third Vanishing, fourth. Then Tectal Rain out of limit, military salute, cottage one and control freak. And Casa Grande smiles after that one as they take the tenth. Which they all step over okay. The Ross Meister, the latest one to take a turn at being the tail end Charlie as they head towards the next. And Labrator leading by a length and a half. To light together second, Rapunzel third, vanishing fourth. In Tectal Rain, as they all get over that one. 
Cottage One and Control Freak are getting close to Control Freak being pushed around the outside into fourth as they pass the six furlong pole and now one or two of them are starting to make a move Jimmy Hatz and Rebel Run who've not been given much of a mention earlier they're going to do it now as well as they get over to third last and Labrata is in the lead they're bunching up behind though now and this is probably going to turn into a bit of a sprint towards the end I would think Labrita's in the lead light together is second Rapunzel control freak military salute vanishing in a large reality then Texel Rain Cottage One Jimmy Hatz and Rebel Run trying to get into it wide on the outside bit of a gap into outer limit as they start this Funny turn into the straight. They've still got two flights to get over and three and a half to go. This is the second last. And the Brita landed in the lead from Military Salute in second. Cottage One is third. Tectal Rain fourth. Then light together and out of limit. Rapunzel starting to lose her place. Rebel Run starting to run on. Vanishing's also dropping back. Control Freak is also struggling now. The Rossmeister is starting to try and get back into it. They're coming down towards the final flight. And it's the Brita from Military Salute. These two are clear of Cottage One and Tectal Rain Rapunzel starting to run on again that was a true stayer as they get to the final flight now they go military salute landed in the lead from Labrator in second then Cottage One and Rapunzel and then Rebel run after that one there's a half a furlong to go military salutes in the lead Labrator is trying to close but I think it's going to be one for Jim Murray military salute is going to take it from Labrator second Cottage One is going to be third Rapunzel four then Rebel run and the Rossmeister and all the way back to the disappointing barley notes Jim Murray not had that many winners over the jumps the last few weeks. He's back there in the big time with military salute. Taking that one, Labrata, the long-time leader, was second for Darren Thompson. Cottage wine for Craig Beckwith was third. Rapunzel, Mark Lee on fourth. And Rebel Run for Patrick Hogan fifth. The interesting thing next week, of course, is going to be how many of them have qualified for the per temps. How many are going to go for the world hurdle? 